Hello and welcome to today's show with me, Mr. Leonard, and my very good pal Vic. How are you doing, Vic? Yeah, you good? Excellent. And Al. I think we need a new outfit for Al. What do you reckon? Yeah, cool. Okay, lots in today's show. Lots of bits and pieces. Not so much from me and the Vic, but lots of things in the gallery and all that kind of business. So we will crack on. We will waste no time. Start off with our messages. First up, we have a Crafts with Clarice today. That will be just before the galleries come on. Thank you very much, Clarice, for that one. Looks good. Looking really excellent. GBBO. The results are in. And they are in the shoutouts. Mmm. Very good. Apart from, I'm not playing anymore because I didn't win, Miss Williams. Anyway, Miss Williams wanted me to announce that the next GBBO task will be making something out of leftovers. Oh, this sounds right up our street. We love leftovers here. So that's a brilliant one. Excellent stuff. Um, <clears throat> message from Miss Tompkins. She has circulated a video around year seven about the eco team and we're going to put it on today's show as well if you are interested get in touch with miss tompkins it's a brilliant thing um and protecting the planet and all of that kind of thing and it's all great stuff that we can do at school so watch that vid it is superb taskmaster don't forget your entries to me by friday it is your interpretation of a piece of art be artistic we like it when people are artistic don't we Vic? yep absolutely beard deadline Right, it's looking interesting, isn't it, Vic? Mm, yes. Friday deadline for the beard to stay or the beard to go. You choose. At the minute, it is 50-50. It is exactly split. So make those votes count. Send me a message. Use the show in the message bar if you're emailing me. Or bung in the comments section whether you think the beard should stay or go. Fantastic. Okay. Shall we do... The shout outs, Vic. Shall we do the shout outs? Yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to. What? What? Why? Someone's going to have to pick all of these up now. What was that all about? That's your entry for the Great British Bake Off. Leftovers? Because no one eats the salt and vinegar crisps in the house, so we get to eat them as leftovers. Idiot! Crisps flipping everywhere now. You're cleaning that up later. Right, shout outs, get them! You've got crisp in your mouth. Eat it. Right, shout outs. Okay, quite a few. We'll start with today's riddle. Uh, the answer, and a lot of you got this one, was a person. Because when you first start out in life, you crawl. That's how you got four legs. Um, when you're older, you walk on two. And then finally, when you're very old and you need a walking stick, you've effectively got three legs. And a lot of you got that right. Very well done to Magda. You were first. Uh, excellent stuff. Izzy stroke Alex T. Um, you were first on the comments. I'm not sure which one of it you it was, but well done. And on the subject of Izzy, Izzy, thank you for your Taskmaster entry. It is brilliant, isn't it, Vic? And we are going to do a special gallery on Friday with all of those entries. So get those entries in for my Taskmaster challenge. OK. Shall we do the Bake Off winners? OK. Alexa. Alexa. Drum roll, please. OK. Is that it? Right, anyway, pretty rubbish drum roll. Uh, well done to Isaac in Year 8. You were the winner. Fantastic. And the runners-up were Libby in Year 6 and Lola in Year 7. And we'll have some pics of some of the work in the galleries. OK, a really good shout-out coming up here. Uh, Henry wanted to give a shout out to his good friend Lewis, says he keeps in touch with him every single day, helps keep his spirits up. You're awesome Lewis, from all of us. You're absolutely brilliant. Um, and that's the kind of shout out we want on the show, isn't it Vic? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Okay, uh, a shout out for George G in year eight. I know you are having things a bit tough at the minute, but all of the teachers wanted you to know, keep up the good work, you're being a star, brilliant. 
be brilliant and we're here if you need to talk to us okay fantastic and that was especially from mrs wilson uh, in heavy year eight mrs wilson okay um emails <clears throat> This is emails not to do with the show, this is emails to do with schoolwork. And I want to give everyone that's been emailing me, and in particular just a few names among many, uh, Will H, Jaden R, Jaden S, Joe W, the list goes on. Why am I mentioning you? Because the number of you that start off your emails with a polite, how are you doing, hope you're well, hope you're staying safe, is just brilliant. It's absolutely superb. The manners, the politeness, the loveliness. You guys keep it up. Brilliant. And there were loads of other people. They were just a few um, that I, I picked out at, at the last moment before I came to do the show because it really has knocked me out today. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. So keep being polite. And that is the shout outs, Vic. OK, um, lots of bits coming up now, hence why we've kept our bit a little bit short. So you know the drill all the social distancing and all that washing your hands and getting out it's a bit chilly out there but the sun's out which is really really lovely um just enjoy and be safe and we'll see you again on tomorrow's show <gasps> goodbye <laughs>
need you to help us out. So, a few weeks ago, Miss O'Neill sent you an email all about being part of the environment team in September. Now, I know you've seen assemblies from the environment team. They've done really fab things. As well as setting up recycling, they organised the One Tree Day, we raised loads of money and we had lots of big plans that unfortunately got cancelled. But we still want those plans to go ahead. Things to do with um, potentially upcycling and swapping clothes, things to do with bikes. And we still need people to keep the school green and make sure those recycling bins and everything are collected. So. Miss O'Neill sent you an email about applying to be part of the environment team and we got two responses. I cannot believe that in such a lovely year group as yours, only two people want to be part of the environment team. So me and Miss O'Neill need you. If you want to be part of the environment team, find that email, send us an application. All right, we need some people as soon as we're back in September to get this up and running. And we might even have some tasks for you to do before then. Some way you can make a real difference to our school in your future. Okay, I really wanna hear from loads of you. So I look forward to getting all those emails. All right, take care, bye-bye.